We haven't seen landfall on Long Island in about three decades or more. I'm going to tell you right now, though, I know you want to know. I'm going out tonight, Brian. I'm going to get me some dinner. I'm going to get my groove on. Okay, well, your temperatures at this hour will cooperate. We're in the low 80s at this hour, light winds. We do have a chance of a little shower. Nothing going on right now, but I can't rule out a drop or two tonight. Now what I want to focus on uh, initially is to tell you, even if you're not on Long Island, but hold on, Burroughs, it could hit you too. Look how big this storm is. It's 200 miles wide. That's the breadth of this, 200 miles wide. You go up and you look and you say, well, what would that cover if it hit Nantucket or if it went over, uh, uh, say, Southampton? You go all the way back to Pennsylvania. That's how big this is by the time it gets over. So everybody's going to be affected by or impacted by this, it looks like, by Sunday. The window is somewhere between 7 a.m. Sunday morning to about lunchtime. Look at the direct hit from Brookhaven to Southampton. When you see the eye right there and it cuts over uh, Southampton, that'll be landfall, say, at about 12 o'clock. This is too early to get concrete, though. This is going to change. We know this, and I always say you can never you can never count on a hurricane until about 12 hours out, and we're about 36 hours out. But all the spaghetti models, what I showed you yesterday morning, I said, look, some of these models are indicating it could hit Long Island. They're really doing it now. They're all coming together. They're saying, I think this system is going to hit Long Island. The outlier is the RPM model that's taking it to the Jersey Shore Sunday morning at 8. So it's over Tom's River, so that would make landfall at 8 if this holds together. Again, it's too early to say that it will be the case, but you have to prepare for the worst case scenario. The worst storm surge will be Long Island Sound, up to f five feet as possible. That'll cause some damage, right? And rain totals anywhere from one to six inches or very little if the storm goes out to sea. It doesn't look like that right now, and that's why we've got a hurricane warning for Suffolk County and a hurricane watch for Nassau. Look at the winds tomorrow. Pretty nice, southwest. Chance of a shower. You can get your outdoor activity. Central Park, big concert, right? You'll get it in tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 80s, a little sticky with this tropical air mass, but Saturday should be ideal. Now, there's a big bike event on Sunday. I don't think that's going to happen uh, because as the storm gets closer to us and if it stays on the track it is right now, you're talking wind gusts in the boroughs to close in Jersey up to 50 miles an hour and 72 on Long Island, maybe even more than that. So the temperatures on Sunday with rain will be cooler than the upper 70s to low 80s. Let's go again, though. Tomorrow is a perfect day. Get your outdoor activities in. Have a good day. Go to the, go to the, uh, you know, the concert. But then on Sunday, I think you might want to stay home. And I wouldn't go to the Hamptons this weekend.